So after being disconnected from the game like that, let's load this back up and keep playing. Welcome to Let's Play School Life Romance. A game about a girl who just wants a normal school life romance. Let's dive right in. I guess you want me to say something inspirational about the cherry blossoms and how they're a metaphor for my life turning around and all that other high school romance stuff, but that's not me. And take, I'll take a, instead, I'll take a moment to set things straight before someone goes and starts accusing me of things. Firstly, no. I didn't run, through, run to school late with a piece of toast in my mouth. I got up on time. I ate. I got to school early. How do you think I'd got time to do this narration in my head? And no, I didn't crash into a cute boy on my way here, and not a total klutz. I don't even get why I constantly do this. Monologuing to myself. Dad's told me to stop with this stuff. Narrating stuff. Who would I even be talking to? Someone telepathic? Oh well, it's fun. I can't help it. And I'm pretty sure other people have done it too. That's what I tell myself, anyway. But I'm getting ahead of myself. You're probably asking for footnotes by now, aren't you? I'm Hana. And the biggest problem I have is that I was born with pink hair. Well, sort of. Let me explain. Pink hair isn't exactly normal here, no matter what anime tells you. When I was born, my parents saw my hair and simultaneously had the same thought. Oh no, our daughter is an anime protagonist. <laughs> and from that moment on, weird and unexplainable things tried to creep into my life. My parents did their best to protect me from it all. When I was two years old, an imp, or demon of some sort, was found creeping by my crib. My mom hit it with a rolling pin and called animal control. When I was six, a man in, the d in a dark cloak knocked on our front door, trying to tell my mom and dad that I was the chosen one from a prophecy, prophecy written long ago on an old stone somethings. Dad closed the door on him. Thanks, Dad. It all ended up being a suit too much for my mom. She ended up packing a suitcase and left me and Dad when I was eight. Oh no, your anime backstory's starting. She didn't realize that this only created a tragic backstory for me. Yep. I can make jokes like that because I don't remember her too well, to be honest. And now it seems like fate is trying to rope me into a romance. Hey. This was Kaimon. If you're bad as with if you're as bad with names as I am, just think of this. Kimon sounds like demon. Kimon. Which is ironic. Seeing as Kimon had the same temperament as one. Kimon's hair was bleached and dyed, which was against school rules. If it wasn't, I would have dyed my hair something normal. Hey. Aren't you gonna ask me? He did that thing where he leaned against a row of lockers, trying to look cool and casual. But was leaning at an awkward angle, so it ended up not looking cool or casual. Ask you about what? He sighed. Ugh, it figures you wouldn't know what was happening tonight, despite all the posters around the school. Idiot. I then realized what he was referring to, but I decided to play dumb, because I didn't want to ask him, as he put it. Look, if you really must know, I suppose that I'll tell you. Just c c consider yourself lucky that I just happened to have a flyer handy, okay? He blushed as he handed me a poster with the edges of it, where it had been stapled somewhere, had been torn off. Do I even need to say he's had a crush on me since the beginning of the school year? No. We're good. Everyone on the same page now? You idiot. He seemed to think that constantly calling the object of his affection an idiot would be seen as endearing, or quirky, or an attempt to hide his true feelings. And not, as it was in reality, that it was a really off-putting and annoying thing that was really getting me cheesed off. Yes! Yes! Thank you, Hana. Kimon is what you'd call a bad boy, if said bad boy didn't really commit to the whole bad boy thing. What I mean is, oh hell, it doesn't just doesn't need an explanation. You can just see it for yourself. I looked at the flyer. It was for the upcoming school festival. There's a festival happening tonight. So, assumingly, 
I guess that you'd want to ask me to come with you there, once you found out about it. Not that I want to go with you badly or anything, but I probably won't say no to you if you ask. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that! I'm not looking at you like anything. And no, sorry, but I'll probably be staying home tonight. I'm really busy with schoolwork. What? Well, well then fine. It's not like I care. I've got to be somewhere. <laughs> with that, he walked off, shedding mainly tears. <sighs> Hannah! Oh no. Object number two, looking for my romantic affections. H Hi, Hana. Can I t talk to you for a second? That's Zen. Do you remember his name? Just think of Zen. You know, because he's so calm. His machine gun stuttering and constant twitchiness is the absolute picture of Zen, right? His name also starts with the same letter as Shy, so he's also got that going for him. Go ahead, I won't stop you. I, I see you have uh, that flyer. Zen and I knew each other since childhood. I first met him, at a, met him at a party just before we started going to school. I've never left a party quicker. Oh, no. Oh. He didn't stutter in the same way a stutterer stuttered, if that makes any sense. Kind of? He stuttered almost every word. Not just words beginning with B or words at the beginning of a sentence. It entirely stemmed from his shyness. Maybe it didn't? I guess Sen was some sort of an anomaly. I see you have one of those flyers for the, the festival tonight. I wanted to ask you if you wanted to go with me. I'm sorry, but I actually plan on staying home tonight. Cold. Uh oh. Hey! Ah! Is this guy bothering you? <laughs> oh, that'll save my game. This is a very difficult choice, you know. Yes. No! Kaiman! Kaiman, this is Sen! We were kids together! Yeah, well, that may be. But he just seemed to be trying to go above his league. Uh, huh? Oh, brother. No, he's not. Calm down. Also, didn't, just, didn't you just say that you had to be somewhere? Fine. Whatever. He stalked off. Uh, thanks, Hannah. Don't mention it. Ooh. Huh? A new guy? Excuse me, but where am I? It was an odd question, but I indulged him. You're on the third floor of the South Wing. He gave me a look like you wanted more info than that. You're in Minkasuka High School. He looked at me as if he didn't believe me. Huh. I've never seen this guy before. So first the bad boy, then the shy childhood friend. And now this guy. Was this... The mysterious exchange student who would complete the trifecta of high school cliches? Are you looking for a classroom? Uh, no, I'm... He gave me a look like he was sizing me up. Like he was judging whether or not he should let me in on a vital secret. Maybe he was a time traveler? In which case I should probably go before he tries to rope me in on some kind of... Are you one of them? Eh? I, um... It was like he was trying to ad-lib a test for me to prove something. He was having trouble, so I thought, what if? What if we have the same question? So I decided to give him the test instead of the other way around. If you mean, do I realize that I'm supposed to be the protagonist, then yes, I do. Not to boast. In fact, I don't want any of it. I've been trying to ignore it my whole life. Now, crazy as it was, I've said this to people before, when I was younger, and they'd always laugh it off. But this guy... Wait, you're the protagonist in this game? This game? It was weird, but I suddenly felt a connection to this guy. I felt like I knew him better than Sen or anyone else I've known for years. This guy I only met for five minutes. Who was he? I'm Hana. I know, I could read your name above the dialogue box. Before you ask, no, I can't read your inner thoughts. Just like you probably can't read mine. Ah, uh, huh? I couldn't tell what he was talking about. He could tell. He unintentionally gave me a disappointed look, like I'd failed his, one of his tests. Nevertheless, he introduced himself. I'm Adrian. Uh, Hana! Oh, God. I was wondering... Uh, that is to say, I was wondering who's uh, that guy in there? Is he a friend of yours? Or is he uh, bothering you? Uh? Sen had clearly stunned Adrian. 
You almost broke the text, bo text box with that last one. Uh-huh? Uh, no. No, he's not bothering me, Sen. We were just talking. Oh, I wanted to be a big hero. Well then, I'll leave you both alone then. Goodbye. You look like you've just been kicked by a puppy or something. It seemed to be how Cayman and, S Cayman and Sen operated. Every time they saw me talk to another guy around the same age as us, Sen would act almost heartbroken, and Cayman would respond with annoyed jealousy. It was... creepy. Adrian still hadn't snapped out from his all of witnessing Sen break the world record for the most amount of stutters per second. Ah, uh, Adrian? Hello? I waved the fire I still had with me in front of his face. He blinked at it, and suddenly came to life. Oh my god! What? That! That's it! That's what I'm looking for! I glanced at the flyer. It was a photo for a suit of armor that would be on display during this festival. That's the exact same suit of armor that brought me here! Look, I know this sounds crazy, but I'm pretty sure that armor can get us out of here. He sounded like a crazy person. You sound like a crazy person. I know. But, please, help me. Hmm. I can show you the display at the festival. I, look, I looked again at the poster in my hand. Hmm. Oh. Oh? I just remembered. The festival is tonight. Tonight? That's great! Yeah, all we have to do is wait and then go there. So that's a lucky coincidence. I felt suspicious. Why should I go with you? Huh? Don't you want to get out of this place? Uh, yeah, but... How do I know you're not just a trap to make me an anime protagonist? What the heck are you talking about? Look, you don't have to leave with me, but at least show me to this armor display. Please? I really don't know my way around here. Hmm. He seemed too good to be true. I mean, a guy who just shows up, offering to take me somewhere I'll belong? This smacked of a trap. And yet... Can you wait here until my classes finish? Finally, it was nightfall. Adrian and I walked past all the crowds in festival stands filled with sparklers, food, and drinks. At the edge of the festival, we found the steps leading up to the shrine. Well, we're here. The shrine's at the top of the hill. All the way up there. Great. Do you know where the suit of armor is? Not exactly, but I mean, it must be around here somewhere. We looked around. You really took my whole story rather well. It wasn't technically a question, but I knew it was. Heh. I guess I already... Well, not exactly knew, but I had a feeling that everything was off-kilter, you know? I felt like the whole world was focused on me. Like the world was waiting for me to turn into the main character in an anime or something. Are you sure we're not fictional? Ugh. Yes, yes, of course we're real. I feel real. Don't you? Well, yeah, but I bet everyone else here feels real. We didn't see anyone glitching. So, how do you know? Hmm. Because the alternative doesn't bear thinking about. I didn't say it depressingly, just matter-of-factly. Once you find what you're looking for, do you think we'll end up somewhere we belong? Or will we just end up in another game? And then another? Well, we've got to try. It's not the most hopeful plan, I know, but it's all we've got. I nodded slowly. I decided to turn the conversation over to something else. What are you wearing? That's a good question. I was wondering that. Huh? That white bear thing around your neck. Oh, this thing? Yeah, it wasn't my idea. Rebecca gave it to me. I gave her one of my letterman jackets, and she gave me one of her scarfs in return. She was still wearing that same red and, red and, red and white jacket when I... when I left. And then a thought occurred to me. Was Rebecca a real person? I... I don't know. Do you love her? Yes. Yes, I loved her. Why do you ask? It's just... 
You referred to her in the past tense. Like she was dead. Or you left her or something. Hmm. I loved her, but now... I don't know if she ever even, ever even existed. Can you love someone if they never existed? Let's stop talking about Rebecca. Yeah, okay. I begin thinking about my dad. Did this mean that he wasn't real? How could that be? How was I born if he wasn't real? I felt like crying. This is too weird. I couldn't stay on that thought for long because we were interrupted. Hey! Keeman? Keeman had somehow managed to spot us and was staring daggers into Adrian. Don't tell me you were trying to steal her affections. Huh? No! No! There Keeman went, jumping the, jumping the gun again. No! Are you kidding me? He thinks Adrian's a romantic rival just because I talked to him for five minutes? Suddenly he pulled out a switchblade knife! Oh, Jesus! Just who are you? Keeman, are you crazy? What? Don't be stupid! Put the knife down! I suddenly remember that saying, don't be stupid, was usually followed immediately by someone doing something stupid. I. Oh! I. I can't. I won't give up. Was... What was that behind him? Nobody's gonna take you away from me. I'll kill them before that ever happens. You're out of your mind! I looked around. Where was everybody? Then I saw it. Right at the top of the stairs, inside the shrine, I saw a suit of armor. I darted up the stairs. Adrian quickly followed. Hey! We were halfway up the stairs. Keeman was close behind. Hana! Wait! Please! I love you! I know, Hana. You're shocked because I've been keeping my true feelings so well hidden. But... Leave us alone! No one loves you like I do. No ki no kidding! No shit! Three quarters up the stairs. I was ahead of Adrian. Come on, Adrian! We're almost there! Hana! We reached the top. We just had to make it to the shrine. There! We made it, and just in the nick of time. We touched the suit of armor, and... Antique Paladin has joined your... What? Uh, huh? What? <laughs> what? Where are we? An RPG. Random encounter. A ghost attacks. It's Clara. What? Battle start. Is Antique Paladin's turn. <laughs> okay, now we're back in the right game. Magic. You do not have enough mana. Uh, attack. Antique Paladin attacks. Miss. Ghost loses zero HP. Ghost attacks. Ooh! Antique Paladin loses 9999 HP. Antique Paladin has been defeated. Uh-oh. How can Clara be here? How do you know who Clara is? I don't know. It's Adrian's turn. Special attack! Oh, shit. Defend? Adrian's defense increased. Ghost attacks. Ooh! Adrian loses nine, nine... Adrian has been defeated. Adrian! It is Hana's turn. Well, clearly we're... Uh, we don't have enough stamina. Fuck it! Attack! Miss. Wait, no! Ghost attacks. Hana loses all her HP. Hana has been defeated. Game over. All party members are dead. Game over. Well, we lose. Thank you for watching. That's the end of the Let's Play, I guess.